Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're looking at week 4 of 2020. Started off the week on a Tuesday with some awesome SSB squats. These are tempo squats, 313, or 303 rather. And felt moved really well, still progressing up nicely. Followed this up with some safety squat bar good mornings. I actually dropped the weight from last week uh, just because I wanted to concentrate on some technique issues that I saw in the video and again I'm using this shoulder recovery as an opportunity to kind of build from ground zero after that uh, that was pretty much it for the night did a little bit of conditioning a little bit of physical therapy and then this is Wednesday's uh, very in-depth physical therapy showing you guys a lot of the shoulder uh, ab I'm saying abductions uh, shoulder movements I can't think of the word right now uh, these are some of my favorites here with the dumbbell and then of course I'm able to use some I'm calling them heavier bands. They're they're really light bands, but compared to the TheraBands These are a little bit more resistance for some of the movements Still nothing super heavy, but if you have been tracking my progress at all, you would know that this is Very much better than what it's been in the past I'm getting better at these little shoulder push-up things, and my physical therapist said I can go ahead and start progressing these, uh, kind of slowly coming down into more of a horizontal plane. And then I started to punch the air because my physical therapist told me to. Uh, it's actually super difficult to control. On all of these movements, I'm trying to pinch my scapula together, similar to how you would go in for a deadlift setup. Uh, but they're very strict about it at my PT clinic. And then this is, uh, this is me pretending to pour a glass of water on my head, which would not seem to be difficult until you consider the fact that I've had a pretty in-depth shoulder repair. Uh, these are actually really tough to do. I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot of concentration. I was doing them both sides at the same time, but I found that it was uh, not going as well. I wasn't able to get my shoulder as high, so I started doing them one at a time. And then this is a brand new one. This is kind of a single-sided plank with a shoulder pusher extensioner thingamajigger uh, at the top. Uh, it's difficult to see in the hoodie, but as I rotate up, I'm trying to push further and further away. Again, recruiting a lot of those muscles back in the scapula area. Then we move on to Thursday evening, which for me is belt squat night. And so for belt squats, worked up to a heavy five. This is 400 pounds loaded on the bar right here. Uh, I don't exactly know how much it weighs on my hips, but I can definitely tell you that the RPE was right on at an eight. Uh, I probably could have gone a little bit heavier, but I'm trying to progress this in a logical and responsible way fashion again no reason to rush it and then with that upper back collapse you saw the last rep definitely felt no need to go any higher after that I dropped down to about 75 to 80 percent and this is 300 pounds and I did this for a super long set of 15 the whole point of this is just to get a lot of movement in this exercise uh, and also some hypertrophy um, I understand that I'm not going to be making any serious quote-unquote gains during this time. So I'm just kind of having fun. Uh, I've done a lot of reading on belt squat, especially with uh, Matt Wedding. And he was saying that he likes to use the belt squat for a lot of volume work, especially since you're able to do a lot of squats without actually loading your spine that much. And so that's kind of the direction I'm going with that. And then this is where my Strongman Saturday would traditionally be. And instead of Strongman Saturday, it's Conjugate Saturday. So this is 140 pounds of band tension with 183 pounds bar weight. I think that's right. And just knocking out sets of eight. Just going down until I feel, uh, feel my butt touch the box. And then trying to shoot up as fast as possible. I have progressed from a 17 inch box down to a 16 inch box. And it will continue to progress lower and lower as we continue to go through my shoulder recovery cycle. And after that I did these step ups. This is 153 pounds plus about 50 pounds in chains total. And these are just kind of fun. So after, after that 
went out and got forward sled drags using my new Rogue Multi Belt. And these are just torturous, awesome activities that burn up my quads and uh, get my conditioning in there. I was doing longer pulls and doing less of them, but I ended up taking my coach's advice and now I'm doing 10 50 foot poles. Uh, I just kind of, I kind of superset them, if you will, uh, just to knock them out. Because if I, if I waited a long time in between each pole, it just would take forever. Uh, one of the little curious things about my road though is that I have a slight uphill grade as I travel away from where the camera's at right now. And so I always hate going uphill and then I never mind as much coming back down. But this has been an awesome exercise. It burns out my quads. It definitely gets my heart pumping. I can definitely feel it conditioning wise. And it's just kind of fun, you know, you get to load a whole bunch of weight, go out and pull, and then your neighbors look at you like you're really weird. But that's week four. Week four in the books is complete. I can't believe how fast 2020 is going. We're already a month into it. I feel like that's probably the way it is every year. But I appreciate each and every single one of you that tune in every week to watch these videos. Uh, even more so if you comment down below. I love reading your comments and getting back to you. If you could, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll see more of these coming and I will see you guys in week five